Nation's traditional language from his grandmother and spent a lot of his spare time fishing traditionally near his home. In his teens, Hal confronted a group of archaeology students on the reserve who were digging up remains from one of the reserve's buried burial sites. Harold's intervention prevented further desecration of the site and launched his interest in preserving the legacy of Aboriginal heritage. Harold does this today mainly through his films. He graduated from the Aboriginal Film and Television Training Program at Capilano College. Please welcome Harold Seacher. I said just 
method to go is preserve, protect, document who we are as a nation. All over, whether it be here in Couch, right on through the mainland, Canada, the United States. Because I feel if we don't, we're moving in a fast, a fast paced, everyday lifestyle. And we have to keep caught up with, with losing of our old people and our elders. We're going to lose things. I'm trying to document who we are as people, why we are, what we are. We're rich people. We're rich with everything. Knowledge, just connection to this land. That's who we are as a nation. What is it? I have a, I don't know, I guess, I have a couple of hats other than doing film work. I do a lot of, I get hired to do different things. I've been involved, I'm sure, with a bit about archaeology, as Ben said. I have, a, I have a great opportunity of going out and seeing our history of who we are as a people here before the European people came. This is our land. We didn't lose it. And I have that chance to go out and recollect our ancestral remains and put them back in the sacred ground. And I'm honored to do that. I've been doing it for a long time. And I also want to look at doing work around that to save our ancestral grounds from being raped and pillaged by developers and people that just don't care about who we are as a, as a people. Also here, I'm also with, uh, I just want to share another project um, we are working on. There's been a, with the youth, um, so-called, there's a lot of youth violence. We have them in different communities, I'm sure. Have it here. And I want to, and we are doing, going to do a documentary on it. I've already shot part of the pre production stage of this production. It's uh, based around youth violence. And what I see, because I've been here all my life, is major changes with our youth. What we saw here tonight, a cultural dance put on by the Zinkler group, it's just amazing. I love to see our youth involved. What I see here going on some, somewhat in our community, we're, we're reading this, we're, we're cut. So that's why I want to, I, I took the chance to want to go out and do a documentary on our, on our youth here in our community. It's on youth violence. I don't see, I see what's going on, but I don't understand. I want them to tell you the story of what's going on. Because everybody has a story. 